so far? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's been a good spring for me. Uh, kind of plagued with some injuries. I uh, hurt my foot this uh, past week, so I've been out kind of limited this week. Um, but the first seven practices, man, I thought I was doing real well. I got to show uh, that I can actually catch the ball. Last year, they didn't really trust me. Um, but, you know, I've gotten those opportunities, and I think I've capitalized on all those opportuni opportunities. Uh, I think the coaching staff knows that, and my rest, the rest of the team knows that, that I can, um, I can run routes. I'm, I'm not just that big tight end that's only supposed to block. I can be on the field with two tight ends. You get out, you know, multiple guys, and I think that's just better for the offense, too. But, I mean, it's been a great spring. Yeah, I mean, honestly, man, that's that's what I like. That's what I try to do in JUCO. I try to be a tight end at JUCO, and uh, they switched me to O line, and I was kind of bummed out because it's like, okay, we're just blocking the. You know, I want to make some plays. I want to kind of help impact the offense. Um, and I got here, and I got you know the tight end shot, and I thought I was going to be able to do that. Um, but my first year here, I, you know, I was playing good. I was catching balls, blew out my ACL, so I was done that whole year. And a year and a half later. We start spring football, so it's been a year and a half since I, I, I played, and I kind of had a rough spring. Didn't really get to capitalize on the opportunities I was getting, and um, and some of the other guys in the room capitalized on their opportunities and jumped ahead of me on the depth chart. So uh, I think this I think this year's been great, man. It's everything I've wanted to do playing football. I get to block, which is awesome, and I get to run routes and run over people. I mean, what's more fun than that? So, Tyler, I think you're maybe the only guy or one of the few that was born in the 90s. Yeah, baby. 90s, baby. Uh, did you ever get any flack for that from your teammates? Uh, I mean, the nickname for me is old man, old guy, uh, Vietnam vet. Um, I mean, I like it, though. You know, it, it's, 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 it's different being 27 years old and going against some 18-year-olds. I'm almost a decade older than these guys. So, um, I mean, bonus points for me if, if the old man destroys a young man. So, you know, win for the old guys, right? Yeah. Obviously, there's a reason for that. You know, you, uh, you served in the Naval Academy for four years right out of high school. Um, and, you know, we see you wearing, you know, the hat right now. Yeah, baby. How, how much pride do you take in having served your country? Oh, I love it. I mean, you know, I've got a – the Huff's got a lineage kind of in the, the service. Um, both my grandfather served, my dad served, my older brother served. I served, obviously. And then my younger brother was thinking of serving. But, um, I mean, I take pride in it, man. I mean – America, I've been around the world, and America is the best country I've been to. So, um, being able to rep my service like that, and uh, and I, you know, kind of like have my family's lineage. You know, it, it's like okay, it's a Huff name, military name, kind of. Or we've all been in the military. We're most vets. Um, it's just something cool to to, to rock. You know. We kind of you know, joked about the old man, young man thing. Mm -hmm. but typically, you know, colleges recruit 18, 19, 20 year olds. They don't go looking. For 23, 24 year olds, you kind of age yourself out. Mm -hmm. Has there been hurdles you've had to clear to kind of get this opportunity? Um, that's a good question. I mean, to get the opportunity when when I was leaving Saddleback, I think I was uh, JUCO. I was uh, 24, so that's not much older than some of like the, you know the six year seniors or the fifth year seniors here. Uh, but I mean, three years I've been here for three years, so 27 now. Uh, as to hurdles, like not really. I mean. Take care of your body. Show up early. Stretch out. Eat the right food. Hydrate, and um, take some ibuprofen. Yeah. yeah, good to go. Eat the right food. It's been a theme with the tight ends. Yep. Right? So anything that you can share with your experiences. With yeah, I mean, I can share a bunch. Uh, <laughs> we all have food stories, but I think, I think last year uh, I wasn't. I was eating a lot. I put on weight. You know, I put on thirty pounds, just about. Uh, but I don't think it was the right rate. The the right weight for me. Um, because that, that year was my, you know, I was coming back from an ACL. It's not really I put on good weight. I put on weight, but not I wouldn't say good weight. So I was a little bit slower. Um, I kind of changed up my diet this past year, just eating healthier. And uh, I feel like I can move better. And I think the film shows that, too. I can move. Up, and that's why I'm getting these opportunities, probably. And what's it been like working with, with Coach Boone um, this entire season as a tight end coach? It's been great, man. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he, he's been here since I've been here. He was the GA for the O-line. Um, I think him just coming into the room and Coach Ham's leaving, it's just a different just different energy. Uh, like Coach Boone said, when he came in, he, he, 
he just saw that we were like we were technicians he said we were uh assignment sound now he's really he's kind of you know loosened the leash on us giving us more you know opportunity to do different things and he's just kind of like you guys know what you're gonna do just go play so he's kind of you know cut the leash off a little bit uh which is nice yeah i love it